Today we are at Huntsville State Park on a very breezy day and uh, we're here to do a product review. I hope that uh, this turns out pretty good because there's a lot of wind here and I'm hoping that this uh, dead cat and this microphone is picking me up well. Uh, yeah, today we're going to be reviewing uh, a chair that was sent to me by the manufacturer and the manufacturer is TSEC. I don't know how you pronounce that, but T-C-E-K. Normally, I have this as my camping chair, and uh, this has served me well for several years. But then this one is the new one that I'm going to trial today. They're about the same size as you can see here. Uh, however, when it comes to weight, it's a, quite a big difference. Uh, my current uh, camping chair weighs about two pounds even, two pounds even. And this new chair from TSEC weighs a bit more. Uh, oh, this one's uh, huh, three pounds, 10 ounces. Um, this, this one here is about two pounds even. Uh, so it's a nice lightweight chair. Uh, you've got to set it up, you know, take it out and set it all up and then put the, uh, the fabric over the chair. And uh, I think, uh, I forget what the rating is. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, but I think it's like 250 pounds. And this one here, I'm going to put the full specs up on the screen as well over here. Um, but I'm going to un unbag this. It came in a nice box and uh, there's nothing else in the box. So there's no need to unbox it. So this is the package that I'm going to open for the first time with you guys. And you're going to see exactly what comes in the package. So <laughs> comes in a little uh, leaflet, I guess. And the leaflet basically is the instructions how to set up. I'm going to put this, scan this and put this up on the screen. But it's kind of like, uh, you know, full instructions, I guess. Set that aside for now. And then the rest of the chair is in here. Okay, it comes in a little sack. This sack is uh, pretty sturdy. It's, it's a kind of a nylon sack and it's got a drawstring and a little carry handle. Undo the little strap. And I think that this one, unlike the chair that I have, I think this one is just, uh, I haven't read the instructions yet, okay? So it's a little bit of protection here. So yeah, it's already uh, assembled. And I guess you undo these straps here at the bottom and the legs are spring controlled. So they just flip right out. The seat itself, is I'm just going, I haven't read the instructions. The seat itself is uh, supported by these two backrests, I would think. And I think that they probably have to come out like that until these buttons protrude through the holes. So this is, is real simple, real simple. After setting up the backrest, then uh, you just got to extend the, the seat part. And they only have one button on each leg. So basically, the seat part, the front part of the seat, I should say, uh, when you extend the legs out, you, you engage these single buttons. And the back, they've got two buttons on each, on each arm. So just like that, the chair is erected in no time at all. It's erected within a couple of minutes. So this is much, much, much better. Uh, without looking at the instructions, this is much better than the chair that I've got in terms of uh, assembling it really quickly. Uh, as soon as you get there, you take it out of your bag, you push out, uh, push out these legs, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, and they're kind of spring operated. And then uh, <coughs> extend the arms as far as they'll go, and you're done, okay? Um, what can I say? The swivel mechanism is right here. So this part here is what swivels. So, and it's a little bit stiff right now because it's brand new. And uh, 
the feet, they've got a nice base to them, a good size base. Uh, it's still gonna punch through the earth. You know, the mud, if it's a little bit soft, you're gonna need to put something underneath, maybe a, a flat uh, rock or something. Uh, you're gonna need to put something underneath there to kind of support it from, you know, uh, digging into the mud. But uh, standing on a flat surface like this is perfect. Let's give this a test. Excellent, quite good. Um, I, I'll say that I am higher off the ground than with my other chair. Uh, my other chair is lower to the ground, so this one's a bit more elevated. And if you've got a table, I didn't bring any folding table today, but if you've got a folding table, uh, a table or something like that, this elevation is great for prepping meals or doing whatever you need to do. So, so that's pretty good. Very comfortable. Uh, the curvature of the material and everything is at a good angle. Uh, you're not sitting upright with this chair. You're kind of leaning back and reclining a bit. And uh, that's quite comfortable, especially after a long day riding. Uh, it's, it's nice to be able to kind of like sit down and relax. And uh, so very comfortable. Um, swivel, of course. Now, I never thought that I'd, you know, need a swiveling action for my chair. But I mean, and I still don't know why I need it other than perhaps, uh, you know, when I'm cooking, for example, I might have one table here. I might have another table over here. I might have something else over here and I can just, you know, go from table to table like this. And when I'm done and I want to look at the beautiful lake behind me, I can just swivel around and check out the scenery behind. So yeah, I mean, uh, having this ability to swivel, uh, we can check out, check out the guy fishing behind and, uh, you know, we can actually uh, turn ourselves in every direction, get him in the shot. And <laughs> so there are uses for this swivel type chair. Um, I never thought I'd need one, but uh, hey, it's a great, uh, great alternative to the regular type camping chair. And um, yes, it weighs, uh, a good 50% more. So instead of two pounds, it's now three, well, actually it's closer to, to you know, uh, twice as much, uh, three pounds 10, I believe the scale said. Um, so here I am swiveling, keeping him in the shot. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, but uh, yeah, very nice to have a swivel chair. Who, when they were a kid, never like uh you know didn't play with a office chair or something like this swiveling this is you know pretty good fun and now you can have the same fun when you're camping one of the things like i said that i really really like with this chair is that uh, the ease of setup you don't have to stretch the back the fabric over the, the the you know the stays the four stays the two longer stays are at the back for the backrest and then the two shorter stays are are under your legs here for, for the front of the seat and uh, yeah, in no time at all, you just extend those and the chair is done, it's set up. And then I would say putting it back is just a matter of reversing the process. You just collapse those, uh, those extended bits, uh, you know, push the button in, collapse them down and then fold up and you're done. Push in the buttons. I guess you call these stays. And then the legs. Like I said, just come in like this. They're all spring-loaded, right? So you just bring them in, wrap them around with this Velcro. You've got to rotate this, the legs, so that these parts are in between this, these members, so that when you fold them in, they come right close to the legs, okay? Once you got that done, then you just, I guess, fold this fabric up as best as you can. You got to figure out the direction for wrapping your Velcro. Uh, obviously, I've got the, wrap, the wrapping wrong, but... <laughs> so you attach, wrap this around. <laughs> there you go, there's the package. Now that this is wrapped up, it's just a matter of putting it back into the bag like that
doing up the drawstring and you're done neat three pounds ten ounces in your pack excellent little swivel chair for camping um, these both chairs actually fit into my top box on my motorcycle very nice and compact uh, a little bit heavier than the, than the chair that I have uh, but uh, still three pounds ten ounces not too bad uh, for the comfort and for the convenience the swivel function and uh, you know the ease of setup uh, funnily enough the hardest part of this whole operation deploying uh, the chair and then putting it back in was in the putting it back in but then like I said I have not read the instructions yet so let me get the instructions now and have a glance over those and see if there's anything that I I kind of missed um, talks about the velcro straps on doing the velcro straps doing the legs out uh, turning the chair over uh, so that the legs are below and then extending the telescoping tubes both at the back and at the seat uh, Confirming all the six pieces the, the buttons are in the holes uh, and then you're ready to sit and Then again, it just uh, gives a, a couple of uh, uh, Diagrams here about uh, taking it down pushing in the buttons collapsing all of the extended parts and then figuring out how to put it back into the bag which is the hardest part it doesn't say in the instructions uh, the tip that I gave where you've got that 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 cross piece the piece that is rotating uh, it has to go between the legs right so that piece has got to be between the legs so that the legs can fold up flat or I shouldn't say the legs I keep saying the legs the extended bits for the chair can fold up flat against the legs when the legs are all tied together so that's something that uh, is missing from this but other than that yeah it's it's not much to to the instruction set i mean it's it's basically a self-assembling chair uh the other chair that i have is is a little bit more work to it because you've got to undo all of these folded up uh legs and arms and everything and they're all shock corded together so you you know you extend them all you put them all together then you take the fabric and you put them over it's not hard to put that chair together either but this one this one's much faster it just undo two straps extend and the chair is there the chair does sit higher like i said than my existing chair and um, i like that because it makes a better um, seating surface for or a seating elevation for working on a table a little camping table or something like this it's better than the other chair the other chair would have worked it works well with the table as well but this one's probably a little bit better this one also reclines a little bit more and uh, it's quite comfortable so yeah thumbs up on this TCEK chair if you like the video give me a thumbs up consider subscribing please share and uh, and I'll see you in the next video